the Philippines is an island country in Southeast Asia located in the Western Pacific Ocean and is part of the Ring of Fire. The Republic of China lies across the Luzon Strait to the north and Vietnam is across the South China Sea to the west. The Philippines, which is composed of islands, is largely divided into three regions, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Major cities include Manila, Davao, Quezon City, and Cebu. With a population of 100 million, it is the 12th most populous country in the world. Also, about 11 million Filipinos live abroad. There are many different peoples and cultures in the Philippines. Goldman Sachs predicted that the Philippines has a bright future, growing into the world's 14th largest economy by 2050. It is predicted that the Philippines will develop into the world's 14th largest economy by 2050 if it continues to have abandoned human and natural resources and has an average annual economic growth rate of 5% or more. Regarding the history of the Philippines, it is very unfortunate that there is no historical document that can clearly indicate when the history of the Philippines began. That fact is probably because there are no relics left due to hot weather, natural disasters such as earthquakes, typhoons and wars. Still, as the bones of Homo Luzonensis, estimated to be 67,000 years old, were discovered in Kellogg Cave in the north of Luzon Island in 2007. It can be assumed that people have lived in the Philippines for quite a long time. About 30,000 years ago, the Negrito, a native of Borneo and Sumatra, migrated and settled. And it is said that Malay Aborigines were introduced and lived there before and after BC. As documents were discovered in China about trade with China around the 6th century, these also showed that people traded with their neighbors since the tribal state era. From about the 10th century, Islam spread through trade, and an Islamic kingdom was established in the southern Mandanao region in the 14th century. It was after Ferdinand Magellan appeared in the 16th century that the existence of the Philippines, a quiet island nation, became known to the outside world. So the history of the Philippines is largely divided into the period of tribal states before Spanish rule and the period after the Spanish conquest. It is said that before Magellan appeared, indigenous people of Malay descent came and settled in various parts of the island. It is said that a unified nation was not formed, and they lived in the form of a tribal state with a patriarchal system. The Philippines is said to have lived under a ruling system of chiefs called barangay, which arose spontaneously during the settlement process because the topography is made up of mountains and islands. At that time, the population was estimated at about 500,000 less than 0.5% of state's population. 
barangays usually consist of 30 to 100 households centered around the ruler called the Datu. But large-scale barangays with hundreds of households are said to have existed in areas such as Manila and Cebu. Due to the influence of this history, the smallest administrative unit in the Philippines is still called the barangay. As of March 2021, there are 42,046 barangays in the Philippines. Spanish colonial rule, 1571 to 1898. In 1521, Portuguese navigator Ferdinand Magellan landed in the Philippines while on a circumnavigation of the world sponsored by the Spanish royal family. With this incident, the existence of the Philippines became known to the international community, and history began to be recorded in writing. At that time, Spain went around the world for the three G's, that is, the glory of the king, the gospel of God, and the economic gain of gold. And from Spain's position, the Philippines was a very good place to use as a trading base. In the end, Magellan died in a battle with Lapu-Lapu in Matan, Cebu. Even after that, Spain sent several expeditions to investigate the Philippine Islands, conquered the Kingdom of Tondo, which was located on the island of Luzon, and began to rule the Philippines. Spain ruled the Philippines indirectly through a Mexican governor until 1821 but then began to rule it directly. During the Spanish colonial period, the Philippines went through a lot of different changes. The biggest change among them was the name of the country, the Philippines. At that time, Spain was having a golden age as the empire on which the sun never sets. In 1543, when a Spanish expedition arrived in the Philippines, the islands of Samar and Light were named Las Islas Filipinas after King Philip II of Spain, Philip II. After that, during the Spanish occupation, the whole island archipelago was called the Philippines. It was also during this period that the vast majority of the population became Catholics. In 1860, a civil war broke out in Spain, and a resistance movement against Spain also arose in the Philippines. As nationalism grew in the Philippines in the late 19th century, calls for Philippine independence grew louder. The hero of this period is Jose Rizal. Rizal was a leading Filipino nationalist who formed the Philippine National League, La Liga Filipina, and waged a resistance movement. After Rizal was arrested and executed in 1892, Manila Loretta Park was named Rizal Park. Later, Philippine independence hero Andres Bonifacio formed a secret squad organization, the Katipunan, and staged an armed uprising but was defeated by the Spanish army. Unfortunately, Bonifacio was executed by the opposition in 1897. Japanese occupation period 1942 to 1945 and Philippine independence July 4, 1946. 
On December 8, 1941, Japan launched an air raid on the U.S. military base in Clark, Philippines. And in January 1942, Japanese forces completely occupied Manila. In March 1942, Japanese military rule began when American forces stationed in the Philippines under General Douglas MacArthur withdrew to Australia. At the time, Japan justified its rule in the Philippines by advocating the Greater East Asia Core Prosperity Sphere, and the Philippines came under Japanese rule until 1945. On October 14, 1943, the puppet government of Jose P. Laurel was established by Japan, but General MacArthur's landing on Lighter Island in October 1944 reignited full-scale war between the United States and Japan. On February 3, 1945, General MacArthur handed over self-government to President Sergio S. Osmie. On August 15, 1945, the Emperor of Japan declared unconditional surrender. After Japan's defeat, the United States regained control of the Philippines from Japan, and the Commonwealth government was restored under American rule. And on July 4, 1946, the Philippines finally became independent from the United States. The nation was finally liberated from the occupation by foreign powers that began in 1571. Goldman Sachs predicted that the Philippines will develop into the world's 14th largest economy by 2050 if it has abundant human and natural resources and has an average annual economic growth rate of 5% or more. Historically, the Philippines suffered a lot of foreign invasions and was difficult and painful. But let's look forward to a bright future and a strong and wealthy country. Thank you for watching the video, Colonial Era and Independence of the Philippines, provided by History and Current Events. I'm Mia, Rebecca, Katie, Leah and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.